This video is going to show you how internet news is constantly misleading and dividing all of us. Let's break down this featured Yahoo news story, which is titled Melania Trump is racist and Michelle Obama obsessed in Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's short story. What jumps out at you? Of course, Melania Trump is racist. In this era of technology and short attention spans, most people only read the headlines. The first line reads, Melania Trump is apparently lonely, obsessed with Michelle Obama, and a bit racist. At least that's the story according to acclaimed writer Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. So once again, they're doubling down on this. Melania Trump is apparently lonely, obsessed with Michelle Obama, and a bit racist. At least that's the story according to this writer. Sounds a bit straightforward. Only problem? It's not until the fourth paragraph that this article admits in Adichie's fictional account the story is completely fictional. It's literally a fictional made up story. But this article doesn't tell you until the fourth paragraph. Probably over 90% of people don't go past the headline, let alone past the first three paragraphs. The first three paragraphs show no signs of it being a fictional made up story. Yet this is featured on Yahoo News and will probably reach millions. I'm all about ending racism, bigotry, hatred, inequality. I'm all for upping education, making real criminal justice reform, and taking a deep look at the prison industry. Yet most internet news is so ridiculously bizarre, lopsided, and divisive, we're never going to be able to do these things because they constantly have this shiny object that has us running in circles like a hamster on a wheel. If you like this video, follow my page, donate to my news analysis in the comment section, but most importantly, have an amazing week. Always been a rebel. Watch me living out the system, yeah, I stretch like every day I be all about my fitness, keep my mind about the stress So I always be my sickness, I don't trust no corporation Cause they lie like politicians, I don't